that call was made five hours ago, and there was then about two to three thousand demonstrators around Taksim Square, the Trafalgar Square of Istanbul, if you like. When I left Taksim about an hour ago to come to the studio, there must have been 10,000 demonstrators in the square, and they were chanting Tayyip, that's Erdogan's middle name, Tayyip, resign. In other words, the protesters have defied him. And this must be a blow to his authority. Perhaps when historians write his biography, they will say that this was a political mistake because his determination to destroy a park has mobilized public opinion across the country against him. You had thousands of people walking from the Asian side of, uh, of Istanbul to the European side across the Bosphorus Bridge at dawn this morning. You've had 10,000 students in Ankara walking towards Parliament. There have been demonstrations in other cities. The cause of this park has been a rallying cry against the government, against Erdogan in particular. Now, Erdogan, he's admitted that police have used excessive force in some instances, and we seem to see the police backing off a bit from the square to allow the protests to happen. How is this going to play out? Well, Molly, it's very rare in Turkey that policemen are prosecuted and convicted of abuse of power or excessive force. So I don't think his promising investigations will carry much weight with anybody. Uh, when I left the square, as I said, there were about 10,000 demonstrators there. The police were managing to drive them back every now and then with tear gas. At one stage, I thought they were going to break into the park, which had been sealed off by the police yesterday. But then the police fired tear gas can canisters and uh, uh, drove us back. I was one of them who suffered the tear gassing. Uh, but I ran down Ishtiklal Chadesi, which is the main pedestrian thoroughfare going to the square to get to the studio. Uh, it's a, a street about two and a half kilometers long. There must have been 20,000 people in that street, all marching towards uh, Taksim Square, all chanting slogans against Erdogan. Now, you can drive people back with tear gas, but when the numbers get to 20, 30,000, how successfully can you do that without uh, triggering a stampede in which hundreds of people are killed just by other people trampling on top of them? So I think it has become a security nightmare, and I wouldn't be surprised if the police officers and are now recommending to the government that they themselves back off and allow the demonstrators to get into that square.